Hello there and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest XI S. Like I said, I got back to the Altar of Time with my, uh, all the cutscenes watched save file. Eric, let's speak to everyone, because we're going to be lost forever. You're really, really not going to talk to me. No. Let's go. Sorry, but you simply can't do this. We won't let you. What do you mean you won't let me? Darling, don't you feel you did enough? I mean, you defeated the Lord of the Shadows, didn't you? I don't want to lose anybody else. I don't think I could bear it. Yeah, but I can make it so we don't lose anyone. I cannot permit you to do this. Curse it all. Why can I not go? Why can I not put a stop to Morgan? Must I really remain here idle while you risk all for the sake of our fallen companion? I'm sorry, Joe, but you simply can't do this. We won't let you. When I cut my hand, Veronica gave me her powers. I vowed that I'd use them to carry on our sacred mission and protect you. If I were to let anything happen to you, she would never forgive me, so I have no choice but to stop you from doing this. Fate seems to have a habit of snatching away those I care about for most, but not this time. Save a tired old man more heart ache than he can bear, will you? If I lose you too, I'll, I, I don't know what I'll do. I let you go once, and I promise I'd never do it again. Please don't do this. I, I don't want to lose you. Have you thought this through, Joey? You heard the timekeeper. If you go back there, that's it. No way home. And there's no guarantee you'll even make it where you want to go. Are you sure you want to do this? I am sure. Okay, okay. You win. We know you well enough by now not to try and talk you out of this. But you'd better not mess this up. You go back there and you save her, you hear? Save us all. Do what you have to do. We won't stand in your way. Cheers, guys. I'll be back, I promise. Well, I can't really promise that, but I'll try. The decision is made. Then you must know all that I know. To lose time will be to lose much. But... Some semblance of your present self will remain. Your memories, the record of your adventures thus far. Your knowledge of battle and all that you have learned. You should retain possession of its twin, the Sword of Shadows. This will surely prove to be a more than worthy weapon for the time being. Now you know all that I know. All else is. Unknowable. When you 
you are ready, join me by the spear. Those time capsules are like wibbly wobbly timey wimey bullshit. Because, uh, how can that be? If they're not affected by time, say I put something in there now, say the year is 2000, and I go back to the year 1000 BC, what they're saying is that the items I put in there in 2000 will still be there in 1000 BC because they aren't affected by time. But that's not how, you know, like entropy and shit work. Things have to get more disordered, not ordered. Okay. Hello. Join me by the sphere when you're ready. If you climb these steps, there's no going back. Are you sure you want to return to the past? Not yet. Let me make sure my my equipment is in order. I've got the Sword of Shadows on. It's the best uh, great sword I have. I'm pretty pleased. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Are you absolutely certain? Yeah, I'm certain. Wait! When you meet me in the past, we will be enemies again. But know this. I stand ready to pledge myself to your cause once more. To be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. Yes, yes, very dramatic, Hendrik, honey. Now, if you've quite finished frowning and swearing oaths... Farewell, darling. I look forward to seeing you in the past. I know you can do this. I know you won't let anything stand in your way. And the us's of the past will be there for you whenever you need us. Now, if I know your grandfather, he'll have a few words to say before you go. <laughs> You've grown into a fine figure of a man, laddie. But don't look down now. We'll only be apart a wee while. We're back there waiting for you after all. You'll do as proud. I know you will. How could you not do? You're my own flesh and blood after all. <laughs> I began this journey with you, feeling that I was simply doing my duty. But it became so much more than that. I'll never forget the time we've spent together. So please, <laughs> if you don't mind, I hope you'll take me along with you all over again. This isn't goodbye, not by a long shot. See you on the other side.
waiting for you. Take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the Luminary. We of Arboria swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Friends, sheepmates, amigos, Svarg's thrust and the rainbow await. The Stani beckons! I don't know how Mordigan's planning on achieving eternal life, but I know one thing. We're going to stop him. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck, good luck. So the first question I've got to find out is just exactly how far back I've ended up. If that is, the cutscene is telling me the truth, then it's just after we got sent to defeat Mordigan. And I should be in the first forest, which it looks like I am. But I'm on my own, and my party members aren't here. Awarded for embarking on a mission into the midst of lost time in order to see the world saved once more, but properly this time. Alright, so is everything else I've got? Oh no, everything everything I've got is here. Okay. I misinterpreted what the capsules meant, I guess. I thought they meant everything I had on me would be there and everything else would be stuck in the capsules and I'd have to go get them. the cutscenes again. This is the first time I've seen them. Uh, Luminary, you've been sure that I hear your companions are gathered in the cathedral. I'm sure that Father Benedict is be concerned to see you're not with them. Return to him, I pray thee. Take a look around our boy and try to find out if you've really gone back in time. Alright. Well, as soon as Veronica's alive, I'll know. Welcome to our boy, the home of the Keepers. We have waited many years for your coming. If you should wish to learn more of the age of heroes and the Luminary legends, you have books that relate to these ancient tales in detail. You can read them at your leisure. Where's Serena and Veronica's mum and dad? Sigil on the hand is the legend of the Mark of Light. It is said to symbolise the bomb between the Luminary and the World Tree. If you were to visit her holy heart and offer up the mark, I do not doubt that my change so would make her will known to you. It is strange, when I gaze upon the smiling face of my newborn son, I feel sharp pangs of sorrow, as if I have known his loss, as if he was taken from me once long ago. But has banished such evil thoughts from my mind. My wife and I have been happy married for many years, but twice we might be heavens to not bless us with a child. I've always made my peace with the thought I'd never be a father. But now at long last my beloved has born me a beautiful baby boy. Ah, I should never I should that I should know such happiness. I think is what you said. Let's go say hello. Hello. Oh, Serenica, blessed ancestor. The time has come at last for us to fulfill our destiny. We're going to use the orbs to take the luminary up to the world tree, and he's going to awaken the power that will banish the darkness. We've never been up to Yggdrasil before, so we don't know what's up there waiting for us. But no matter what happens, I swear I won't let the Luminary come to harm. He's our light and our hope, and he'll rid our world of darkness. I know he will! Serenica, Sage of Legend, lend me your power! Help me fulfill my duty and protect the Luminary! Doing here? 
away. You weren't listening, were you? What do you think you're up to, waltzing in here with that great ugly thing strapped to your back anyway? And where in the world have you been? <laughs> Father Benedictus was talking to us all, and you just upped and disappeared without so much as a by your leave. What were you thinking? Hmm? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Stop staring at me like that, will you? You look like you've seen a ghost. We've got important things to be getting on with. The last thing we need is you acting like a big weirdo. So come on, pull yourself together. Darling, there you are. We couldn't find you anywhere. Oh, we were so worried about you. Well, don't look so surprised to see us. We've been right here all along, you know. Uh, what's with that sword? You're supposed to be the good guy, remember? Huh. Well, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, time to get this show on the road. Father Benedictus says we're to take the orbs and offer them up to the altar at the top of the mountain. We need to go through those doors and follow the path through the first forest, apparently. Shall we get going? Aye. Not long now till we get up to the world tree at long last and finally find out how to get rid of that rotter Mordigan. Let's away! <laughs> so, now, if I, obviously the hero can't really talk, but if I were the hero, I would explain why... Oh my god, it's exactly the fucking shit I had at this point in the game. How the hell did the game remember this? There is, there's no way the game remembered it. It must have just made an approximation and a guess. Also, they'll be like, why the hell have you got these really cool things for me to make any sense I would like a crit chance but oh well Veronica hello I'm gonna equip everything good of course need good magical might though did I really never get... Oh, Princess's Robe. Yes, of course, of course. Serena, you can have a better one than that, I'm sure. Yeah. You can't double equip yet. But you can eventually. Don't ask me how I know. Goddess is Tiara. Saintess is Jess. Probably have something better than the garter to protect against that. Yeah, I also even have his, you know, like sovereign seal and shit, Hendrix stuff. Even though there's literally no way you could equip it. I'm gonna put everyone's like cool outfits on rather than the weird ones. Don't have the other one, I can't equip it. Right, so I go to character builder. Everyone's gonna have exactly the same shit they had before. Which means I need to go back down to knives and get to dual wielding again. This is odd. Except Joey, who has everything. Because he's overpowered. Veronica's alive. That's the biggest upset. But I mean they we're much more powerful than we were. That's that's for certain. Unfortunately, oh no, I can equip it. I was going to say because because of um, the time travel shit, I thought I'd lost the things that they were equipping at the time, but that's not true. So we can actually just do this. That's neat. 
Hi. I mean, I should absolutely kill everything in my path right now. Head through the cathedral library to reach the first forest down the path of Yggdrasil. Luminary Proton, something happened to you in the short time you were away. You seem much more serious than you did before. I expect you have come to realize the gravity of the task ahead of you. The trail beyond these doors leads to the first forest. The altar you seek at the very highest point of the hallowed wood. Good luck, my child. Alright. So, th this is my journey to kill Mordigan the first time. Not the second time. And are enemies different or are they the same? Or is something going to happen on the way? Yeah. They look the same. If I check the map, anything new here. So there's no point fighting anything because I'd absolutely murder it. Oh yeah, they're also all level 30 odd. Rather than level 100. Or level 50 or level 56 like I am. Well look, Joey finds a mineral. What? Did I really never get this? Why? You good? I'm ready to go. Father Benedict's just took me to disappear. This isn't the first time I start getting this isn't the time to start getting flaky on this. Finally heading to Yggdrasil, remember? Let's fight this rock. Let me show you how powerful I've become. Hiya! Veronica wins again! Heh. That's a bit weird. I, I think Piglet. Piglet's the way to go. That's certainly less weird. I'm just expecting another pipe moves to be like, holy shit. How did you get so strong? Where can I zoom to? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I should be able to zoom to everywhere, but I'm just expecting the party to go, how the fuck are you, how do you know where to go? Yeah, all the, I guess in all the chests have repopulated or something, or maybe I just didn't get any of these, but I doubt it. I assume I would have got them all. I'm guessing they're, they're not open, because in this time, I've not got them yet. Even though in the other time, I did get them. I'm also expecting that if I try and go somewhere that I'm not supposed to go, for example, can I get into the air here? Like, I have the Calamus Flute, can I call him? No, because it's not the right time yet. But if I could go anywhere that I'm not supposed to go, that this would be like completely fucked, because other party members have never been there. So they know that they've never been there or not. Because I've been there. You start wondering about time travel. Things get real screwed real quick. But no matter what, I've got to keep Veronica alive. So hopefully I can dispel the darkness with the Sword of Darkness somehow. Or at least let Hendrik know that Jasper is a fucking dickhead. Unfortunately, I've got to go all the way back through the dungeon and get all the chests again because I can't let it go. I wish that I could. But I can't. So I'm back in Act 1 then. If Act 1 is everything before Mordigan, Act 2 is Mordigan fucks everything up and now you've got to unfuck it. And Act 3 is Mordigan's defeated and now you go back in time to kill him, super kill. then I guess that's fine. I'm not sure entirely how I'm going to defeat Jasper's, like, magical shield, though. Because I haven't got the Sword of Light.
Also, I'm positive that because we just got a recipe book, like we just got it, that the game can't end here. This can't be, yeah, you defeat Mordegun, it's all good. Because it makes no sense. Why would you give me this recipe book for things that I can't even make yet? Or maybe I could have made them, I just missed it. But either way, it looks like I can't even make yet. And then tell me, oh sorry, but you you physically can't make them. You only need to make them for one fight and then the game's over. It also didn't revert my money. That's good. How many mini medals have I got? Here comes Joey trying to figure out... That's here. I was going to try and figure out how the fuck... I look at the mini medals again. I always forget. It's in, it's in attributes, everyone. Okay, let's climb over here then. I'm not getting in any fights, which will probably leave the rest of the party kind of under level, but Joey's so overpowered that it probably doesn't matter. Overpowered for enemies in this area, I mean, Mordigan will probably still kill me. But he hasn't got to full power yet, so maybe I can kill him easily. And then everyone will be like, oh, what was all the fuss with that? That's not such a big deal. Yes, because I can do 800 damage with uh, Unbridled Blade. That's why. But then I can't, because I haven't got Sylvando. I'm using the actual party I used at this point in the game, which means I haven't got Oomphful. What magic have they got? I need to have a look at the actual attributes. Oh, I can do Oomphful. Veronica can oom for me. That'll do. Alright, let's go to the left. Because we've got to get the waypoint. We've got to warp. We'll be able to warp here. Like I said, I'm taking it seriously and doing exactly the same shit I did before. And I mean exactly. Although everyone's clothes are new. And so they might be a bit confused. As to why I've given them all new clothes. And where I got them from. And why their defense is so high now. But, oh well. It's not my problem. Just say, well, I guess I could just explain it away. I could say that I... When I went on my little excursion, I found a treasure trove of all these cool things and... I wasn't about to turn them down, because I'm the protagonist, and therefore I can do whatever I want, including theft. And murder. But only if I think they're bad, obviously. Which is a very dangerous game to play when you start assuming the humans are worth being killed, whether they're good or not. Because whose definition of good are we following? Okay, let's go into the Cornoir and see what's going on over here. I don't think there's anything. No, that's fine. Up we go then. A wee. I probably missed loads of shit in terms of like optional stuff I could do but when I've really really beaten the game for real which I, again I don't think happens after this when I really beat the game for real I will go and check again on exactly what I can do that's a blue dragon oh, that's a blue dragon as well okay it looked more white when I was running through here before Oh, like a white dragon. Alright, oh, here we go. Here's the cutscene. Is it going to be different now that I know? Oh. 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 Oh, this trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Oh. 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 
Oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? No problem. So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Everything will be fine. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. <laughs> Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from. Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? No. The high priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Veronica? Hmm? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. <sighs> but I hope they do. You bastards. Only showed me the first half of the cutscene again. Now, I left it, even though the game was very explicit about me uh, wanting to skip it. Because Joey, the protagonist, and we, the player, have seen it before. But these characters haven't. So I'm leaving it that because of that because I'm fucking weird okay I'm leaving it because I'm strange and I've decided that because this is now the past this is the first time we've seen the cutscene in quotation marks so I'm gonna leave it in I'm leaving it all in well there's no mistaking it this is the altar I am not wrong there go on laddie get the orbs out let's see what happens shall we Okay.
A bridge made of rainbows. It's beautiful. Looks like it's finally time for our date with destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. Hmm. But I don't belong. I'm an anomaly. Surely Yggdrasil can tell that I'm not the same me that was there before. And in fact, what happened to the old me? I guess I just replaced them. My memories are just now new. Like I am the same me as the old me, but my new me's memories and the sword and everything else came through. But that makes no sense because then only the sword, the memories and the items came through. What? Old me's got to be in like a fucking cryogenic stasis somewhere. Either way, I'm going to go show Murdergun. Murdergun. I'm going to go show him what the fuck happens when you mess with a level 56 or 55 even. You get wrecked. Okay. I'm probably going to get absolutely owned because I missed, I've probably missed like the entire of the game. I don't know. I feel like I've done something wrong, but either way, let's go say hello to the heart. You yeah. So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's strange. I feel like I've been here before. I know what you mean. It's weirdly familiar. Well, it is the source of all life. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> oh. Ow! Well, that's not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. Aye, and so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The Sword of Light. Now, Maddy, it's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Hmm. Damn you, Jasper. How did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? <laughs> what was that? Now, now. Princess, such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? But it will take more than a showy new weapon to defeat me! Come, Luminary. All of you. Prepare for the end. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death. Alright then, mate. 
I'm gonna enjoy this. Get my fucking revenge on Jasper. That sword surely do not intend to dispel my barrier. Everyone do exactly what I tell you. Right, can I just use an ability to dispel it, or should I just attack you? And will that do it? It will. Blast away the Dark Barrier of the Lord of Shadows. That'll do for me. Thank you. Heh <laughs> heh. bringer. Oomphful. Me. So I do even more damage. Because, of course, this is how I'm going to win. Um, I haven't got the Hymn of Darkness, so I can't protect myself against Dark. But I can... I can buff everyone's defense a little bit. Which we might as well do. Such beauty. You fool. How could you? You stupid bitch. This is what's going to happen to you. See you there. Yes, that's a thousand damage. You will be killed. And I will love it. <laughs> I mean, literally, only Joey can do any real damage. But I can try and kiss that. And if it will work, don't do stupid damage. I don't care if I. D the power of darkness. It's it does not bother me at all. You're super stupidly super dead. Bye bye. No! <laughs> Jasper is defeated. Easy peasy. Each party member sees eight thousand experience once four thousand gold coins. Vonica is low still level thirty six. Learns a new spell, blunt. Vonica receives three skill points. Uses skill points right away. Yeah. Sure, this is normal. Everything's fine. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Nope. Yeah. No. This cannot be. I cannot be defeated. I cannot disappoint my master. What do we have here? What has Jasper led us into? What happened here? Your pal showed his true colors. That's what happened. He's no servant of Heliodor. He sold his soul to the forces of evil. <gasps> the Luminary is not your enemy. It was Jasper all along. C curse you. So this is how you repay your king? With treachery? <laughs> Master, help me. <laughs> Faithless cur! You would dare to betray me? Betray your kingdom? Death is more than you deserve. <laughs> I am grateful to you, Hendrik. 
If you had not brought me here, I may never have learned the truth. If not for your intervention, who knows how long it might have continued? Who knows how much damage might have been wrought? <sighs> I was merely doing my duty, sire. I only wish he had been unmasked sooner. It seems I owe you an apology. I have visited a grave injustice upon you. It was Jasper who spoke of the Dark Spawn, who poisoned me against you. I see now that all this was merely part of his wicked scheme. Father. <laughs> oh, uh, Jade! My beloved daughter. How is it that I did not see you there? Today is a day of surprises indeed. <laughs> Come. Let me look at you. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you have suffered greatly, Lord Robert. The fall of Dundrasil and all that has happened since were tragic events indeed. But it is time to put them behind us and face the future. Would you not agree? Sorry, Your Majesty, but I'll be putting nothing behind me until I've dealt with the cause of it all. Mordigan. Ah, yes. Mordigan. Doubtless Jasper bent the knee to that fiend. I see now that he is the source of the evil that afflicts our world. No doubt, he is out there even as we speak. Lying low, biding his time. But we have the luminary on our side. Now, you must claim the Sword of Light. The sacred power of Yggdrasil is your birthright. Take it. It is long past time. Well. Don't be stupid. You know that the king is Mordigan. Joey, you listen to me. You do not grab the Sword of Light. You attack the king. Which seems crazy, but you have to explain to them that they are in fact evil. Put my sword back on my back. So it was just who was Mordigan's man on the inside all along, eh? I don't think there's any doubt after what we just saw. We may not know where Mordigan's hiding himself, but when we do, the Sword of Light will help us finish the job. Go on, laddie. Head over to the heart and claim your both like... Servant of Darkness is defeated. Now all we have to do is defeat the Master. It seems our Ventures' first potion is grand finale. We just need to find out where Mordigan is hiding. Only Jasper is still alive. Maps might be able to tell us. I know where he. Fuck it. God damn it. JRPGs. Well, that Jasper really had it in for us, didn't he? It's a miracle we made it out of the battle alive. It's a good job he spotted him when he did. If he hadn't blocked that spotty thing, you goodness knows what would have happened. When Jasper fired the first spell at us, I thought we were in for. And we would have been if it wasn't for you. Not to mention that crazy sword of yours. Where did you get that thing, anyway? <laughs> Wherever it was, you won't be taking it back to any time soon. It shattered into a zillion pieces. Oh, that Jasper guy was just the worst. But why climb all the way up here to try and finish us off? Why didn't he attack us on down on the ground? There's so much I wanted to ask him, but then old King C decided to make himself Judge Joy and Executioner. <laughs> now I never know. I can tell you. I've been looking forward to seeing my father again for so long, but it doesn't feel like I thought it would. I just can't seem to relax around him. I'm sorry, Joe, but I don't think I'm quite ready for a happy reunion just yet. After all those years apart, there's a big gap to close. Jasper. Why would a sworn knight of Helidor sell his soul to the darkness? What could have possibly been worth such a price? You fucker. Mordigan remains at large. He is the cause of all this chaos. Go luminary and claim the sword of light. Only this great heaven can end the Lord of Shadows reign. I'm gonna go behind the thing. Don't mind if I just grab it from this end? Haha. <laughs> sure. You're gonna force my hand. Now everyone watch the king, okay? Oh. 
It is beautiful. Magnificent. May I take a closer look? No. What was that? Well, no matter. Now that we have the sword, let us return to Heliodor. We must celebrate your triumph. Wait, you're inviting us back to the castle. But of course, Lord Robert, you are the defenders of Yggdrasil. The unmaskers of the traitor Jasper. Your great deeds deserve recognition. Well, Luminary, I trust that you will take me up on my invitation. We look forward to welcoming you in Heliodor. Okay, um, right, so a couple of questions. Does the king know he's Mordigan? I'm assuming he, at this point, I'm guessing he doesn't. He has these evil impulses, like he wants to grab the Sword of Light and stuff, but I don't know if he knows why he wants to. And that Mordigan, I know that eventually he just rips himself out of his body and leaves the king for dead. He doesn't die, but he leaves him for dead. The heart of it still shines with the holy light. The super sword of light. Excuse me? Why the fuck is it called the super sword of light? Sim a shining symbol of hope for Urdra, his blessed blade can do away with evil, evil auras. I'm gonna put my uh, actual shit back on. Thank you. Head to Helidor Castle and meet with the king in the throne room. Okay. I mean, we're, we're in super alternate history now. I didn't lose. Veronica didn't die. But at some point, this is going to have to resolve itself, and the only thing that is wrong about this place is me. So I'm going to have to be removed from the equation somehow to restore the balance of it, because it's just it's just wrong. Well, that's what I'm thinking anyway. That I want that I will be able to save the planet. But it's going to come at a grave cost, and the grave cost is my life. But everyone else will be saved. And I'm fine with that, because I'm the hero. Of course. Now, I went, never went down this well, because I never had to leave before. So let's teleport back to Erdria. Yes, let's go back to the ground below. <laughs> And then we'll zoom away. But then the vicious monsters won't spawn because there aren't any. They don't exist. Okay. Let's rest, because why not? And then I'll see you guys next time when we go to Helidor Castle. And everything will be great, I'm sure. <laughs> see you then. Goodbye.